watch this video. I'm sorry it's been a little bit of a while, but welcome to your 2018 year ahead forecast and overview astrologically and general guidance. I really felt this strong need to reconnect with you because it's been such an intense year and I just wanted to get, you know, just, just get a feeling of what sort of year you've had this year. So write me a comment underneath the, the video and just connect, just reconnect, let me know you're out there, say hi, um, let me know how the video resonates for you. I appreciate and love all of those communications with you. And, um, and also, let's look ahead to 2018, which is gonna be another powerful year. I feel very, very strongly um, guided to say that this, all these shifts and changes that are happening, as we know, are pulling us onto the right path, they're pulling us into our power, they're taking us out of situations or ways of seeing things that are disempowering, they are moving us into a very, very strong position where we can begin to share our light, express our truth and be divine channels. And if that doesn't resonate for you and you've just come for a regular reading, then, you know, just bear in mind that everyone is experiencing a shift at their own level of understanding. And for you, it might be that you, you've changed at home or you've changed your, changed your job or you've, relationships around you are changing, family circumstances are changing, things are just suddenly up in the air and transforming in a dramatic way. And, um, and you're wondering why, why things are changing. And maybe you've come here because you're looking for answers. Maybe things just seem very smooth for you, but you're finding that people around you are having awakenings or their lives are changing or things are, uh, seem quite dramatic. Anyway, this video is for anyone who has come looking for guidance for the year ahead in the context of all of these shifts and changes that are happening to all of us. So I hope you enjoy the readings. I've been asked to focus on three main areas by my guides when it comes to the astrology. The place that Saturn is leaving um, in the chart, the place that Saturn is moving into, and where Jupiter supports, uh, you know, the, the place of good fortune, so where Jupiter is going to be. So in some area for all of us there will have been a maturing, there will have been a growing up, and that will have prepared the way for us to move into a, a deeper understanding of the next phase of our lives. And that's what we're just about to move into now. And we want to also look at where we are going to be most fortunate in taking that learning on board and really flourishing and blossoming and growing our lives in 2018. So those are the three aspects we're going to be looking at, um, the three movements, the three elements that we're going to be looking at. And then I'm going to pull some cards, some of my favourite decks I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using my insight as well. And um, I also want to let you know my year ahead readings are available on my website. I'll leave a link under the channel. I might be doing some exciting and interesting things on Facebook. Facebook Live as well soon, <laughs> long promised, and I'll leave a link under the video as well. And that's it. I would encourage you to check your ascendant as well because I'm going to be looking at things very much on a house by house basis. So it's going to be very important for you to be working from you know your ascendant as well as from your sun sign. So I think that's everything. Have a fantastic year. And if you're watching this before the year is over, I hope you're having a great Christmas or whatever you celebrate at this time of year. I hope you're having a great one of those. Have a fantastic holiday season and have a nice break, hopefully. And yeah, wishing you all the very best for the coming year ahead. Come back to this video and watch it as often as you like. And um, yeah, as I say, keep the uh, dialogue going. Let's comment, you know, share. Um, ideas and, and um, feelings about the times that we're going through and how we're shifting and how we're changing and evolving and what you actually currently believe about where we're moving to. Do you still believe that um, peace is possible? Do you still believe in utopia? Do you still believe that your life is moving in a positive direction? And is there anything that I can help you with? Okay, so yeah, that's quite a lot for now. Enjoy, take care, peace. And I'll speak to some of you soon. Bye. Beloved you Geminis, um, welcome to your 2018 year ahead video. So 
I just want to say thank you so much for all of your support, all of your um, comments. You've been one of the signs that have been really supportive. So I hope you really enjoyed this reading. I hope you have a fantastic 2018. You've got Saturn moving from your seventh to your eighth house. So you've had a big growing up in the area of partnerships generally over the last few years. Um, you've had to change your ideas about what you think a partnership is, maybe what you think a marriage is, maybe how you um, self-partner, you know, what you think of yourself, how you view yourself, how you present yourself in the world, um, what your understanding is of who you are. Um, it can even be a, a place where you learn about self-love for the first time. So you've had to really grow up and develop in those areas, which means that you could, I mean, I know Geminis, for example, quite often like to be, they like to be free, they like to not have any boundaries, they like to not necessarily be tied down to any particular situation. You might have found in recent years, the last few years, that you've actually found a person, a partnership, a collaboration that you feel so good about that you've actually, even though it's been really tough for you to do the growing up and to see it and to appreciate it for what it is, you might have come, now that you're coming to the end of that Saturn cycle, you might have come to the understanding that actually sometimes you have to work on things in order to make them work. Some things are actually worth working on and therefore if you are to commit, it's up to you to play your part in making it possible for you to stay committed, if that makes sense. So it's been an interesting year. For some of you, it won't have been about personal relationships at all. It will, be, will have been about how you partner with people generally. And that can even extend to groups, how you partner in groups, how you work together with people, how you collaborate, how you, you know, what you are like in a in a situation where you come together with another person or another place, being, entity, situation. Um, and all of that has been under the microscope and you've had to grow up an awful lot around those areas. So now that you've done that, you've got Jupiter moving, in, uh, Saturn, sorry, moving into your eighth house. So it's going to be very much about deepening your trust in certain situations. So you've had to learn how to trust yourself, how to self-partner, how to trust partnerships in general. In general, And now, you're, over the next few years, Saturn is gonna be teaching you about boundaries, about how to stay um, strong within yourself in those situations. It's also gonna be teaching you about long-term investments. Saturn is about big um, organisations to do with money. Um, it can be loans, bursaries, insurance, taxes. It can be grants. It can be um, anything at all that, that's involved in longer term investments. It can be to do with investments. I think it can be to do with the stock market as well. Anything at all that involves large sums of money. So you're going to be learning in this area as well. And for some of you, it might be that you've never had a large sum of money that you've um, had to know how to manage. Or it could be that you've just, you know, I'm not saying everybody's going to come into money, everyone who's a Gemini, but it could just be that you are going to learn how to manage and handle your money in a way that supports your long-term security um, in a much more grown-up sort of way. And you've got Jupiter moving from your... Um, fifth to your sixth house so Jupiter was expanding your heart your ability to love your sense of uh, joy in your creativity so with it move, moving into your sixth house it's going to be expanding your day-to-day -day reality there are going to be changes in your day-to-day -day reality so it could be that because you create a different financial foundation or you look at things differently in that sense in sense of security that that enables you to create a different day-to-day -day reality or um, sorry not a different day yes a different day-to-day -day reality 
because you've also spent the last year looking at what it is you really love. What do you love in terms of um, how you occupy yourself, how you spend your time. The fifth house can also be to do with children. It, can, it could be that something has happened with regard to uh, children, maybe children. For some people it will be that children have grown up. For some it will be that children have started school and so you've got more free time. For some it will just be that you've had, uh, some will have just had a child. Um, so with Jupiter expanding your fifth house, those are the kinds of areas that you might have seen growth in. So where it comes to creativity and learning about what you love, it could be that you now know how you want to spend your day to day life, what you want to do. It could be that you know for certain now, you weren't sure, but you spent last year experimenting with your your artwork or your music or your um, theatre work or writing poetry or I don't know interior design something creative and now you're coming into 2018 and you've decided I definitely want to make this my job now I want this to be my day-to-day -day reality because the sixth house rules work um, it also rules fitness so you might feel okay now I know what I want to do creatively I need to look after my body in order to facilitate that, in order for me to do that and to do it to the best of my ability and to really enjoy doing it. So that is really exciting, Gemini. And the next few years with Saturn in that um, in that eighth house, you're going to be really looking at ways. It's going to be very grounded. Your creative work will be very grounded in looking at how it ties in with your long-term security. So it's great. It looks really good. And I'm being drawn to the colour cards, the secret language of colour cards for you, which is very interesting <laughs> because I've got um, I've got my tarot deck here. I've got my um, archangel cards here, and I'm sort of using all three, but as I feel guided. And for you, it's all about colour. So let's see what colours you've got. I'm just going to look at an overall colour. No, nope, they're saying um, past, present and future. Okay, so discover your sparkle. That's what you've been doing in the last year. You've been rediscovering your sparkle. How perfect is that? Because that's absolutely what we do when we um, reconnect with our hearts, when we're, we spend time with our children or when we really 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 get involved in an exciting creative project or we reconnect with our our own creativity okay and that's what that year has all been about for you and here you are now awakening your passion which is absolutely lovely awakening your passion for life remembering what's good about living what's what can be fun about living as well and also having healed a lot of stuff to do with partnerships and even earlier wounding maybe in your life that prevented you from having a healthy partnership. It seems as if there's a lot of excitement around at the end of 2017 and coming into 2018. So let's look at the future here. Regenerate your body. So it's definitely going to be a time for you with that sixth house there as well, Jupiter opening up and expanding your, your body and your health and your fitness and your routines. It's going to be a good time for you to address that, to finally um, start running or start doing Pilates every day rather than just every now and again, picking it up and dropping it. You know, it's going to be a great time for you to actually develop those routines. So I'm going to look now at the beginning, middle and end of 2018 for you using the Archangel guidance cards and uh, what does Gemini most need to know about 2018 and their potential for joy, happiness and good fortune. Okay, so we've got beginning, middle and end of the year and I'm going to choose one card from the Psychic Tarot um, by John Holland just to give you an overview of 2018 and uh, guidance rather than prediction. Okay, so the beginning of the year. We come into the beginning of the year with you knowing, we've got clear cognizance. We're coming to the beginning of the year with you knowing what's right for you, knowing what you want, knowing how you feel about things, knowing how you feel about certain people, knowing what the potentials are. And you're being reminded here, the card says, pay attention to thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answered prayers. So there will be think changes that need to be made in the year ahead that are going to make life 
even more um, it just more ideal to make things flow better they're saying tell them systems new systems that need to be integrated new ways of managing your work new ways of managing your creativity and your time uh, your creative time around work new ways of managing systems within your home maybe you want to change you know your workspace around change your home around a little bit um, redecorate reorganize just just move things around to make them the optimal um, structure to create the optimal structures for you to be efficient and to be even happier to be happy with the choices and the knowing that you've developed in the past year so that's the beginning of the year the first few months of the year you're going to spend doing that you'll be very active as well you know continue everything that you've started continue looking at those changes in routines health routines but make things you know you know what to do pay attention to the impulses and the insights that you're getting the intuition because they're they're going to really help you and they're coming to you for a reason outdoors okay so the middle of the year so you're coming more into a period sort of over the spring and the summertime where you're going to be wanting to bring what you've got out into the world much more it's not just going outdoors going outdoors is great going out into into nature is going to be good for you to recharge rebalance reconnect feel healthy and strong again but it's also about going out into the world with what you've got don't stay stuck in a room being creative or feeling it's all about practice it's all about um making making it, you know, making the art, or it's all about just being sort of curled up with that lovey-dovey person. Make sure you're out in the world experiencing things and sharing your creativity, um, you know, spreading your love, being, feeling, it, bringing that excitement, bringing that joy to share it with others who don't have that. And so, and the message says, um, go outside, get some fresh air, connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. So if you do feel blocked at all creatively, remember that you do need to reconnect constantly with, with other people, with the outside world um, and with nature for inspiration. Crystal clear intentions. So coming towards the end of the year. And this when I say the end of the year, you know, this is in three parts. So it's going to be like it's quite a big period um but just uh, this is just a guide that's why i'm sounding vague about it it's just a guide to give you an overview so you know remember these are just influences the future is what you make it life can turn on a dime use all of this as guidance and a way to become empowered you're going to be moving into a time where you are clearer than ever about what you want crystal clear and the card is crystal clear intentions and it says, um, be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith. So manifesting, I've just heard really loudly, manifesting what you want. Don't wait for it to happen. Don't look at endless readings to find out whether they tell you it's going to happen. Make it happen. You can have it. You can have it. You can do it. What you're planning, you can do it. Okay. For some of you, it's going to be creative in a completely different way. But it's going to be, you know, don't let anything stop you. Don't let anything stop you. Don't let anything hold you back when you have that passion in your heart to give something to the world. You've got to get it out there. If you don't get it out of you, it doesn't feel good. Okay, your overall card for the year. Oh, transformation. What could possibly be better than that? Your life has transformed, Gemini in a miraculous way over the last few years and it's been a slow learning and maturation so you might not have noticed it changing but if you look back you will see that you are not the person you were a few years ago when that Saturn transit started and you now have everything to go for everything to go for so go for it in 2018 have a fantastic year let me know what you think of this if it resonates comment i love to hear from you you know how you know i love all the signs but gemini's have been really lovely and special um gemini's virgos sages a few other signs have been really um supportive of this channel so have a great year if you want to have a personal reading with me i'll leave the link under the video i've got my personal year ahead readings up now and they will go into much more detail for you personally looking at your energy your unique situation and you know just giving you the best insight to plan things ahead and any guidance and any questions that you have further to this so take care gem 
have a fantastic 2018 and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.